Be quiet, Aubrey. <laughs> I can't believe she's still awake. Who the better? Who do you think is a better kisser, Mary? You? I don't know. Hmm. That's a tough one. Uh huh. Did you say me? She... <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. I don't know. Five paper scissors for it. <laughs> Oh, you just cooked Crush two out of three. Okay. Damn it. Winner! <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back uh, to our digital memoir for our kids and for, I guess, for you guys and our family and friends, too. Um, this week, we're going to be talking about um, kissing. Uh, primarily, our first kisses, uh, first attempted kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Our first kiss, <laughs> uh, things we like, things we don't like, bad experiences, good experiences. So hopefully uh, you get uh, you kiddos learn something about this. Hopefully we can uh, help you. Because that's what you want to do, learn about kissing from your parents. We'll see I'm learning from. It's a good place to learn. I know. I'd rather them learn from us than they're I mean, not, from whoever else yeah. in the future. So. Yeah. so when was your first kiss? There's actually got kind of like two parts to that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Did you have a redo? <laughs> <laughs> no. So uh, this is very important. Now the first kisses, I don't know how it is for girls or for normal people. I, I wouldn't <laughs> consider myself that normal. No, you're not normal. <laughs> so my first um, uh, attempt at kissing, I was in ninth grade. Uh, yeah, I was ninth grade. Uh, I was living in um, Seattle, Washington. And after school, I would uh, work on the, the school newspaper. And my teacher at the time, she had a, uh, her daughter. She would uh, she would come after school too to. Work on the paper, and she was a senior. I start getting nervous there for a second where this was going. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it was not a teacher. Okay, good. Whew. Anyway, so I was uh, so the, her daughter would come, and we would work on the newspaper, whatever. Uh, she was um, uh, I was a freshman, and she was a senior, and we had such a great time just talking and hanging out, and like we'd talk on the phone and stuff like that. And she was a really nice person. And she was a cutie for sure. Um, so, anyways, fast forward. Uh, one day after the paper, uh, we're out back waiting for her mom to lock up the uh, the school, or whatever. And uh, we're back there, and she's looking at me, and I'm like, "Oh God, <laughs> here it comes!" <laughs> and she goes in for the kiss. And at this point, I, obviously this is the first time I've ever kissed someone. I've never, never had this experience before. So she's coming in, she's coming in, and right when she gets there, I turn my head. <laughs> Why? <And> I panicked. <laughs> because I never, I never kissed anyone before. And, and so she just got a mouthful of like cheek. And yeah. And I can't imagine that went over well. No, it, it didn't. In fact, uh, she didn't talk to me anymore after that. <laughs> well, um, you were, she got rejected by a freshman. I wouldn't talk to you either. Yeah, yeah. And that's like, I don't have many regrets. I, I love the mistakes I make in my life uh, because of good learning uh, opportunities. This is not one of those things that uh, was a great learning thing. So hopefully it's a learning experience for you. Uh, I just wish I would. If I could go back and do it again, obviously I would just do it. Uh, I don't have many regrets, but that's definitely a regret I have um, not actually uh, kissing that girl. <laughs> so yeah. On to my actual first kiss. Um, lip to lip. <laughs> lip to lip. Tongue. <clears throat> French kiss. Is that what they oh. call it? Frenching? French kissing? That's, I mean, that's what it used Making to be. Making out? Making out? Sucking face. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds gross. Uh, I was a sophomore at Moulton High School. <laughs> First girl I ever kissed was a girl by the name of uh, Deidre Tony. Um, <laughs> cool name, <huh>? son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess we were just we were talking. I think mainly because I was 
that my uncle was at the same school and like, he was pretty cool back then. Um, so I guess I was just kind of some of the residual coolness like coming off on me uh, before everyone found out I was a nerd. So <laughs> I don't know how exactly it went down, but the thing I knew for sure was I wasn't gonna mess this one up. <laughs> so and did you make the first move or did she? I think I may have made the first move. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but whatever it was, I wasn't messing up and I went in with confidence this time. I was not messing around. No um, cheek turning this time. No, no cheek turning. She <laughs> she got the business. Um, and yeah, it was it was. I thought it was good. Uh, and if I'm if memory serves me correctly, I'm pretty sure she said that I was a good kisser. So like that just kind of blew the head up a little bit. And so I thought it was pretty good. Um, so that was that was my first kiss. Where uh, were y'all at? Where were you at? Uh, <laughs> we were. Uh, I believe we were at. Andrea Wright's house. That was one of her friends back in the day. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we just made out on her couch. Yeah. It was, with, was there other people there? Well, her friend was there. Was she sitting on the couch with y'all? No, she wasn't sitting on the couch with us. The next couch over? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was cool. Um, uh, turned out though that she had a boyfriend, whatever. So, um, You're so a home wrecker. Yeah, I was a home wrecker. I, we made out a couple times, and then she went back to her boyfriend, which is cool. I mean, I guess. I mean, so I guess you weren't that good of a kisser. <laughs> I wasn't cool enough. Was the problem? The kissing oh, was fair. not a problem. Okay. I was amazing. Okay, so my first kiss, I was a freshman um, in high school. I, I want to say I was 15. I assume I was a freshman. I'm pretty sure I was. Um, and I was over at my friend Jordan's house. And I was kind of talking to um, this guy that went to my school. He was a year older than me. So, like, he was able to drive. And I didn't have a car. I wasn't 16 yet. Gets him every time. <laughs> Pork, all you need is a car, but wheels. That's all I care about is wheels, man. Wheels. Oh, uh, yeah. That's... I don't care about that. Well, now you don't. I didn't then either. Oh, okay. Oh, I just, I thought he was cute. He was really nice. He played sports. Um, anyway, and we got along really well. Um, and we liked each other. And I just remember, um, you know, when you're that young, you don't, I don't know, you talk on the phone, you talk at school. You don't really, I don't know. It's not like we went on dates, like, before that. You know what I mean? Like, I was 15, and I don't think my parents would have allowed it anyway. <laughs> So, um, but anyway, uh, I was over at my friend Jordan's house and, um, she was dating one of his friends at the time. And so he, anyway, he came over to hang out and I just remember we went on a walk down the street just cause there was other people at the house. So we weren't like you making out where other people were. So his name was Steve. Um, and we uh, went on a walk. I don't even remember what happened. I just remember feeling really nervous because I had never done it before. And you're like, oh my gosh, like my stomach's in knots. I've got butterflies. I don't know what to do. I've never done this. I should have practiced. I don't know how I would practice. Oh, yeah. How are you gonna practice? I don't know, but you panic, you know? Anyway, and um, I did not make the first move because I'm not, I'm a chicken. I probably would have chickened out. Um, but I did not turn my head. We did kiss. Um, I do remember that. And um, I felt like I was good at it. I don't know. I probably got better later. But, you know, <laughs> I just remember being very nervous and not wanting to mess it up. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. So it was like a real kiss or uh, like a peck? No, it was. It was a real kiss. Okay. Yeah. What uh, what kind of tips would you give uh, for the kids as far as like them like I guess getting ready for their first kiss? They think they're like ready for that at that point. Come talk to me first, <laughs> <laughs> so I can make sure that you're old enough. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But no, but really, come talk to me first. Um. <laughs> um no, I mean, don't be nervous, even though they're going to be nervous, because yeah. I think everyone is, because you, you're doing something you've never done before, so it's a little nerve-wracking, and then you don't want to be, like, suck, you don't want to suck at it, like, it's important, I mean, you know, but, gosh, I don't know, um, make sure it's somebody that, you know, 
I don't know, that you actually care about. Yeah, I, not so much. Yeah, I don't think you have to care about. Okay. Cause like, <laughs> you, you should, should not about. be catching feelings <laughs> at 15, 16 years old. You can though. You can. It's a thing. You can. You can totally love people and care about people. I'm not saying you can, but let's save that for later. Okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's how we end up with like. Don't get married till you're 35. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as far as what I would say, I like just uh, hey, you always come talk to pops. Dad, whoever you want to call me at that point. Um, yeah, you can always come talk to me about it. Talk to both of us about it if you want to. Don't be embarrassed. I mean, it's it's an awkward situation. Just the biggest the biggest thing is don't ever turn your head unless like you just never wanted it at all. Uh, and two, just just you know be somewhat confident as you can be, and ask for feedback. <laughs> yeah. You know, like a job interview. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like a job interview, like you say. Like, yeah. What can I do better? So I guess you're wondering about um, our first kiss. <laughs> so... Um, I can tell you the date of the first kiss. <laughs> I was like, I don't know that I ever remember. That would be... Uh, this is the first date, right? Yeah, yeah. May 14th was our first kiss. Um... You remember who made the first move? Well, I guarantee you it was you and not me. I, I don't remember, but I would say 100%, 99.9% I'm sure that you made the first move. I would agree with that. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> so we can at least agree on that. <laughs> so we don't remember our first kiss, apparently. <laughs> it's, it's, we know the date, and we're assuming that I was the person who, um, who moved first. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I, I think I dropped you off at your door. Yeah, I think it, door. I mean, it was after our date, but... I, I gave you a kiss at your door. I would, that's something I that would sounds, do. That, that sounds, sounds alright, yeah. Yeah, so that's horrible <laughs> that we don't remember. Or is that... Do you guys know when your first kisses were? I mean, with the person that you're with, do you remember that? Because, I, I mean... I don't. Uh, I can barely remember what happened last week. <laughs> So you think I'm a good kisser? Um, Do you it, think I'm a good kisser? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, first of all, also side note, um, the reason why you should get practice and ask for feedback because no one wants to be with a, a bad kisser. <laughs> That's true. Could you put up with a, a bad kisser? No. You can't. You can't fake that. No. Yeah, you can fake love better than you can fake oh when I get someone kiss. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what is something that you would see me or what I should do differently? Maybe like be a little bit more like aggressive, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, no, that bite me. That piece of meat. Um, <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. Uh, I just came out. <laughs> well, what about for yourself? What do you think you can do better? Nothing. I'm amazing. <laughs> I can argue. Um, what about me? What would you like to see me do differently? Um, kiss me more often. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, I, I should do that more often. You should. Yeah. That's weak though. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna make out on camera. Yeah, you are. Not for the kiss. Yeah, you are. Ow! Yes! Ow! Yeah! No! Yes! No! Yes! Next question. <laughs> Man. Let's talk about some uh, <clears throat> some bad experiences as kisses. Like some like the worst techniques that have ever been used on you that you're oh. like, no, I'm not I'm not Ill into this or feeling this at all. Gosh, I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't know any that necessarily stand out aside from like people who are just like eat your face, you know, like they're know. just their tongue is everywhere like all over and it's just ah, let's keep it to the mouth. I, I think the weirdest thing uh, or the thing I didn't like the most is like I kissed a girl one time and literally she just stuck her tongue in my mouth and she didn't never take it out. She just stuck it in there just wiggling in her <laughs> mouth the whole time. So the kids, like, 
tongue comes out sometimes. Sometimes you just get lip action. It just ain't all about the tongue. Just, there's is a such thing as too much tongue like. <laughs> Ooh, has anyone ever told you that you are a bad kisser? Or have you ever told someone they're a bad kisser? No. Because they weren't? No. <laughs> or because you didn't have the heart to tell because them? Because I would never say that. <laughs> well, I have. I told somebody before that they weren't a good kisser. Um, and good news is, and this is why you correct people to start, because she turned into a better kisser after I told her she wasn't. Um, I kissed her and she was not very good. And and I told her, I was like, hey, yeah. And so she tried to stunt on me. And she was like, I get like she knew another guy that I knew. And she's like, no, I'm not. Ask him, trying to stun on me, like trying to show that she just make out with anybody she wants to. And I was like, well, oh, ask him. And she, she said, hey, she asked the guy, I said, hey, am I a good kisser? And he goes, no. I was like, oh, I told you, you suck. But we weren't like together. That's so rude. <laughs> but it was the truth. But she thought she knew what she was doing. And so now we That's fixed true. the problem. But yeah, so. Maybe I, not in the best manner, but. Fix the problem, nonetheless. Kids. We're true. young. It's the summer. Hey, well, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I know we definitely did. Yeah. If you want to watch our first video about how we first met, click the box. Or if you want to learn more about Courtney, learning more about her mom, click this box. And if you want to see more content when it comes out, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.